It's Dr. Satan. I just wanted to tell you that I've seen through your little scheme. And thank you for telling me that the gas becomes harmless at high temperature. I have a furnace here in which I can burn the box without even opening it. But I... They're going to burn the box and the copperhead is in it. you were in it. No, I wasn't in that box. The truck stopped outside an isolated house and I... Wait here. I'll see where Dr. Satan wants this unloaded. Now I'm where I can watch the house. It's located a half a mile south of the car barns on Shore Drive. Get the district attorney's men to come out here at once. Right. I've got to call the district attorney's office, Speed, and get some help. Nothing can stand in your way now, Dr. Satan. Just one thing. It's possible that the truck the box came in may have been trailed. Well, then we'd better clear out. On the contrary, Stoner, I ask nothing better than to have my enemy step inside his walls. And what about Scott? I have no further use for Mr. Scott now that I possess the secret of his remote control cell. But if you released him, he could always work against you. I don't intend to release him. Take care of it. Go to headquarters and take care of Scott. Leave it that, Stoner. Let's go.
We want Scott. Dr. Satan's orders. What do you want now? You. The effect of Dr. Satan's drugs have worn off. I'm not obeying any more of his orders. You're going to obey his last order. Turn around. Satan returns. He won't return. He's at the Shore Road place. The DA's men are cleaning it out now. The Shore Road place? They'll never take him there. That house is a death trap. Dr. Satan has fiendish devices at every turn. Unless those entry know about them, they're in deadly danger. Do you know how to avoid those traps? Yes. Well, we've got to get out there right away. are driving up. I thought the copperhead was to be here. He said he would. We can't waste any time waiting. Burns, you take the east side. Adams, you and your men cover the rear. Come on. Perfect. Perfect. Just as I would have planned it. Others of your party are in the hands of my men. You four are worthy of my special attention. You all interfered with me in the past. None of you shall ever do so again. My robot will give each of you a last deadly embrace. Stoner, you and God go into the control room.
robot shall deal with you first, Miss Scott. Rather interesting, isn't it? To think that your inventive father made all this possible with his remote control cell. We must get to the control room without being seen. Where is it? Upstairs. Walk lightly. Don't touch the hand railing. Everything is wired. I wish you all a pleasant journey. Hold it, Dr. Satan. first. the uh, copperhead. I found him prowling about, so I took him by surprise. Give me a hand. We'll put him in with the others. Let the rover take care of him. We've got to get to that robot. The only way we can stop that is by the control room. The girl can wait. Feeling all right now, Lois? Yes, Father. It's wonderful to know that you're safe and that Dr. Satan... Dr. Satan and his robots won't bother you anymore. The district attorney's men have the rest of the gang rounded up. What a story. What a story. Except for one thing. Who's the copperhead? This belong to you, Bob? You were the copperhead. Oh, sure. I, I knew it all the time. You see, Lois, my father was the original copperhead years ago. He, too, fought crime and injustice, only to be condemned by the unthinking as a lawbreaker. Well, I've done my best to clear his name. When you write your part of the story, Lois, will you explain the whole truth about my father? Leave it to me, Bob. 